Hey everyone, it's Faye and this is Day with Faye. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing Ariana Grande's Twoist New... Twoist? I'm going to be reviewing Ariana Grande's two newest perfumes. And then I'm going to be stacking it up against all my favorite Ariana Grande perfumes. So, I'm actually pregnant right now, so I am like a bloodhound with perfumes. And a lot of my smells have changed. So I'm going to have one of my closest friends give her ranking as well. Just so you guys can have two reviews in one. Because my smell is so intense, there is a high probability that my ranking has changed as well. But let's get cracking. I love the packaging. It's real cute. I think maybe it's a little bit too bright if it was just less brightness i think it would be perfection but i love ariana grande's gravitation towards the 60s i think it's really cute so this is the mod in blush uh, let's open her up so this is in 100 milliliters or 3.4 ounces let's read how they describe this perfume it kind of reminds me of the 60s but mixed in with the 90s a little bit it reminds me of those little eyes that christina aguilera used to have i don't know if you guys know what i'm talking about if I remember what I'm talking about, it's right here. But it kind of gives me that vibe. This opens up with a blend of bergamot and passion fruit for an alluring introduction. Dewy rose and magnolia with a touch of pear create a breathtaking evolution on the skin. Ambrox and musk leave an intimately luxurious impression. So basically, here are what the notes are. For our top notes, we have passion fruit, Italian bergamot, bright raspberry, and pink pepper. For our middle notes, we have dewy magnolia, pink rose petals, and juicy pear. For our base notes we have ambrox dreamwood and radiant musk so let's see how it smells how do i open this oh okay so it's just i don't know why i thought it was like a twist off but yeah this is one of her first perfumes in a while that doesn't have like the carrying component with it so i'm gonna spray on my wrist smell it give you the middle notes and then i'll wait a while for the base notes and give you a review on that as well i'm definitely getting that passion fruit the most then hitting that peppercorn then of course the italian bergamot is coming through i think the passion fruit has finally faded i'm honestly not that big of a fan of passion fruit um i don't like how it tastes and i don't like how it smells but I do really like the mix of the bergamot, the raspberry, and the pink pepper all together. If I could have made adjustments to this perfume, I would have taken out the passion fruit. I feel like passion fruit is a hit or miss in terms of people liking the smell. Maybe that's what they came out with too. The passion fruit has faded, not really in my face anymore. It was just in my face for the first few seconds. We're now hitting the middle notes, which is really lovely. I love the blend of flowers and rose petals. I love rose petals. I think especially being pregnant, rose petals smell really, really divine for me. And that mixed with pear. Pear is one of my absolute favorites, hands down, when it comes to perfume. So delicious. The middle notes are by far my favorite and I think are pulling through the perfume for me. Now we're finally getting into the bottom notes, the base notes. It does have a hint of musk, but it almost feels like vanilla bean, like musk, but not in a Bath and Body Works kind of way. It's like a very nice muted musk, which is really nice for me because I feel like when musk is too intense on certain colognes right now being pregnant, ooh, makes me want to throw up right away. So I was scared when I saw the word musk, but I was like, let's be hopeful. Maybe it won't be like that, but yeah, I'm not a fan of colognes at the moment. I would say that the bottom notes are faint. Of course, they're not going to be as concentrated as the top and middle notes, but it is enjoyable to say the least. I feel like it is pretty faint though. I wish it was a little bit more powerful. So from a scale of one to five, one being I hate it, two, don't like it, three, I'm neutral, four, I like it, five, I love it. I'm going to give this one a four. I do like it. I wish that it didn't have the passion fruit as we discussed. If it didn't have the passion fruit and had a little bit more oomph at the end that I could still smell without pushing my nose up against it, I feel like I would have given it a five out of five. Now onto the next. So the next is exactly the same packaging, but it is silver and white and gold instead of pink and blue. 
The bottle is exactly the same, it's just white. Let's see how they describe the vanilla mod. Mod Vanilla Eau de Parfum is an instantly addicting fragrance, opening with dark plum and musk. A touch of gourmand is heightened to a sophisticated level with Oris Sand Praline. Now, I've never heard what Oris Sand is. I tried looking it up on Google and it was suggesting me maybe Oris and Sandalwood, so maybe it's a combination of the two. Vanilla Absolute and Cocoa Unveil its unforgettable signature. Now, I was super, super, because I love dark, deep, plummy scents. Usually, normally when I'm not pregnant, we'll see how it's like pregnant. <laughs> so let's talk about the notes. The top notes are pink freesia, juicy plum, and creamy musk. For the middle, we have orris butter, white praline, and jasmine petals. For the base notes, we have vanilla absolute and cocoa butter. Let's see how this baby smells. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Okay. I do not know what it is, but there is something immediately that comes out and I hate it. Hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. But then it goes away. So it's just like a few seconds of hatred. I don't know what it is with the with the new mod perfumes where it's gotta it has to have something I don't like at first. I don't know if it was the freesia. I personally have never encountered freesia before, but once it got into the plum and the creamy musk, it felt so much better on my nose. But it's really, really faint. I have to push my nose up to smell it, which says a lot because again I'm like a bloodhound. Almost instantly, the top notes are gone. I guess I still kind of smell the creamy musk, but it has definitely transformed into the praline and jasmine petals and the orris butter, which I've never experienced orris butter as well, but it's extremely faint. It almost smells like those specific soy wax candles that don't really have that much fragrance. The very natural smelling soy candles, that's, that's what this reminds me of, but it's fading very quickly. I am now hitting the cocoa butter and the vanilla almost like instantaneously. And it's very faint. It, re it re really does smell like cocoa butter, the, the one that I put on my belly from my stretch marks, you know? It smells exactly like that. I don't know how I feel about that in a perfume, because it smells like lotion. I guess if you want to smell like lotion, but it's cheaper just to get lotion, you know? So let me give you a rating on this. So from a scale of one to five, I am neutral about this. Uh, at first I hated it. I was like, whoa. No, and then it moved to like because I really liked what the plum was doing and then it ended to very neutral. But again, because of that cocoa butter smell, it's just like, if you want to smell like cocoa butter, just put cocoa butter on. I think it's like five bucks on Amazon. I don't think it's worth it. Now let's hear what one of my closest friend Lydia has to say about these two perfumes as well. Hey, I'm Lydia and I'm smelling the Mod Blush right now. At first smell, it smells pretty sweet, like a flirty, girly type of perfume. Like it smells good, but it smells like a perfume I've smelled before. It definitely smells like pear. I don't really smell rose in it. Yeah, to me it's like mostly like fruity, sweet, but not overly sweet. It's not like Bath and Body Works. Okay, out of five, I would say three, just because I'm not a super sweet perfume girl. But if you are, you would probably like this. Like it's definitely very flirty, very fresh type of like sweetness. So I actually spoke to Lydia again and she sent me this text and changed her rating to a four out of five instead of three out of five. So I'm gonna try the Mod Vanilla now. It's very light, but to be honest, I'm getting like watered down vanilla. So it smells like cloud with water and then a little bit of vanilla. You could sense that it's an Ariana Grande perfume because it kind of has like a similar note to cloud. And then when it like dries down, I don't like it. It just smells weird. Like it doesn't smell like a nice vanilla creamy. Like I don't get that, at least not on my skin. This is like a perfume spray that you would buy at Walgreens that costs like $10. Okay, I would rate the Mod Vanilla Perfume a two out of five. I don't hate it. Like it's not super disgusting. Like I can't handle it, but I just don't like it. It's not for me. It smells cheap. And definitely I don't pick up any type of creamy vanilla notes. It's now time for my rankings. At the bottom we have Thank You Next. I remember a bunch of people commented that it smelled like pickle juice. I completely smell it now. What the heck? <laughs> it just took me getting pregnant to like 
feel that sensation into my nose but i don't like that so that's at the bottom next is kind of a tie but also doesn't really count because i think that my cloud perfume and my rem perfume have sadly expired now perfumes do expire and they can expire between one to ten years they don't usually say i think it has expired just because it kind of has that little chemically sour smell so i don't really feel like i can count these in my thing personally then i have obviously mod vanilla which i was neutral about then i have the mod blush which i liked but my number one currently out of these four is actually god is a woman I realized that I didn't put Sweet Like Candy on my ranking, so Sweet Like Candy is above Mod Vanilla. So I actually went to Ulta and I smelled some more perfumes and I did in fact confirm that my Cloud and my REM were expired. So I smelled them and my Cloud Intense, definitely number one, absolutely. And then right above Thank You Next is going to be REM. So that concludes my complete review on the Ariana Grande newest perfumes from MOD. If you guys felt the same way or even differently, please feel free to comment because I want whoever decides to make these purchases to have like really informed decisions. And I feel like the best way to do that is if we have a discussion going on in the comments. I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your day. Bye. You come to my place, you can come to my place, yeah. Why don't you come to my place? You can come to my place.